All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, just a little video with the new weapons, and if you look at my hangar, I don't have them in here. I've got one robot that's got the medium and light, and I figured that'd be enough to show you guys what's going on. Uh, it's, you know, <laughs> I tried to do a test with the weapons before I started recording, and it wasn't good. Uh, I mean, it's, it's okay. They're all right. I mean, there's there's going to be some adjustments made, but um, hopefully there's still a bunch of testers using them so we can get a good idea of uh, of what's going on and you guys can kind of see why I don't have them on these other bots. So let's check it out and see what's going on. Um, we'll go back to it. <laughs> I guess I jumped the gun right there. Didn't really let you guys see what was going on. Here's the light weapon. Right now, it's just got the Orkin skin on it. And, uh, you know, they're transparent in the test server, so they really don't do anything. It's coming out to be 10,000 damage uh, per shot. Five second reload, 100 meter range. There's the description on it. It says it's got a massive area effect, and it causes an instant energetic explosion in a 100 meter radius dealing 10,000 damage to all robots in the area effect penetrating both physical and energy shields so what it looks like is just uh, it's kind of like a plasma bomb that goes off and the medium is the same thing just more damage 15,000 as opposed to 10 and then I think the heavy is even more than that. I mean, I I had it on earlier on a carnage. I'm not even I'm not even gonna show it to you guys. It's the same thing. It's just red and it's got uh, it deals more damage. Same same range. I don't know why it's the same range and it's not increased as it goes up. I mean, you would think from light to medium, you would go up in range. Same with heavy. You want to go up in range, but we'll check it out. See what's going on. Um, any any robot that just walks and you can't really get anywhere, it's not really a good idea to use these things because you can't get close enough to somebody. If you think about it, 100 meters, you have to get within 100 meters of a robot to fire this weapon. And you've seen it right there. That was the, that was the medium weapon there. Um, here's the lights. Here's what it looks like from your screen. So... Yeah, um, I mean, you gotta get close, and the Griffin is the only thing I can think of to kind of get in that 100 meter range, and once you get there, I mean, you better, you better have this robot down to nothing when he gets to you, because it's, it's gonna be really painful if you just jump in somewhere, and then you're just sitting there, you're, you're just letting them blast you. I mean, you can use the weapon over and over again, but still, you're within 100 meters. So, let's see what happens. I mean, it's this is basically all it. This is all it is right here. I mean, this is it. This is all. And the, I mean, the Griffin seemed like it was the best thing to use at the time. So, yeah, you see, that's all it is. That's. That's the new weapons today, so. <laughs> oh, man. I am just thrilled about these. Um, so, we'll get into it. We'll use Test Server to test some other stuff out. I'll be doing a live stream later today. We'll, uh, we'll look at some other stuff. Test some things that you guys want to see. And we will uh, go through a bunch of other stuff. Just to kind of, just to kind of mess around, we'll just use this weekend as a, uh, as a way to kind of just get what you guys want to see, and you know, we'll we'll be able to do something and figure some stuff out. But we're not going to be using test server for this today or this weekend. We're not going to be doing any of this. So. The carnages are really good to use too. Um, it's a really good thing to have. I mean, if you can speed up somebody, that's about the only way you can use these things. Let's 
So, yep, you see how they're working, and it's just, you know, I guess I'm gonna put some, put some rockets on them. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So yeah, I mean, plasma is good because you can stay out, you know, 350 meters. Some of these guys are getting good with this, with this new weapon. You know, it's uh, they're getting really good at it running up on people I mean you've seen that guy get me and it's just <laughs> he knows what he's doing you know so it's basically just getting them before they get to you and that's their job they're trying to get to you and I think it can't I think it does affect you around corners I'm pretty sure uh, I haven't tested it yet so we don't know there you see a carnage and it's tricky I mean you look at a carnage and you really don't know what he's got I mean if you think he's got one of the prototypes on and you let him get close then you're done let's see if we can get this guy real quick try not to let these carnages get real close that's what he's doing oh that's not a carnage Get rid of his antle and then he's done. Back up out of here. That Lancelot's got, uh, he's got the new weapons on him. I don't know who would do that. That thing is so slow. But uh, that's cool. You know, to each his own, I guess. Get out of the way. Go get the beacon. Jeez. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna be running them. I think what I'm gonna do is I will be, <laughs> I'll be the tester against the test. We'll see how the test does against the test. So. We'll see how it goes. I don't know, like I said, it's just, you know, it's a matter of knowing how to work these bots and stuff. And I still, I mean, of course I still want to win, so there's a griffin there. He's probably going to try to jump into my range. This is where you really got to start saving your jumps and knowing what you're doing. Now he's starting to run away. All right. Well, we've got the beacon, so we're going to get out of the way. <coughs> Try to get out of the way. So, yeah, I don't really... If they increase... Here's a rhino that's got them. And he can't do anything. I mean, he's just he's just standing there. He's stuck. He can't do he can't do anything. He's just there for the ride. I mean, basically, there's really nothing that guy can do except for stand there and try to get close to somebody. Is basically it. So let's see if we can. This guy's got trebs up here. We'll try to chase him out. I think that's a butch. obviously dead so that's it um that's the new weapon prototype i wanted to get it out there uh get you guys to see it 
fill you guys in on what's going on. We'll look at some other stuff. Look at this guy. That's painful. This is def that definitely was not a camping squad. <laughs> Is that Fujin? Man, he lasted longer than I thought. This guy might have a few bots. We're just gonna create a circle of death right here. Got a Butch, a Fury. <laughs> There's a Fury on the enemy squad. Spawn, that's funny. So yeah, uh, we'll do some more stuff on the live stream, obviously, and uh, wow, that guy got a mill. I got close. Dang it. Let you guys take a look at it real quick. Let's see. There you guys, you guys can see the, the heavy. We'll look at the heavy prototype real quick. Same thing. It's got the same skin on it. <clears throat> uh, here it is. 20,000 damage in one shot. So you put two of these guys on there then you've got 40,000 damage you get a fury if you can by any way get a fury somewhere then you know that's 60,000 damage in a shot a clear shot so uh yeah we won't I won't be using these um I'll throw them on later on the live on the uh live stream we'll check it out see what happens and uh you guys can see that Norcom right there that was my fury agitator that's a Fury Agitator. That's the new name for that weapon. Uh, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see you guys later.